Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and in this Space Engineers tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the autopilot. I'm also going to be using remote access to gain access to the vehicles so if you haven't seen that tutorial I'd recommend having a quick look at that now. So what does the autopilot do? Well the autopilot is a set of waypoints that you set that the vehicle that has a remote control on it will follow. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that now. I'm going to use this basic miner as our drone if you like. I'm going to change it around a little bit and get it set up ready to go. So I've removed the control seat because we don't need it for this exercise and I'm going to set up my hotbar now. Things we're going to need are obviously a remote control. We need a camera so we can see what we're doing from the ship and we need an antenna so we can access the controls of the ship remotely. All right, I'm gonna start by placing down the remote control, make sure it's facing the right way. That's it there. I'm gonna place an antenna right behind that. And then I'm gonna put a camera. The camera isn't essential, but it's just useful when you're controlling a vehicle remotely. So I'm gonna pop that on the front of the remote control. So the autopilot relies on waypoints, so let's set up some waypoints now. I'm going to show you a quick way of doing that, which I have mentioned before in a previous tutorial. You might not have seen it. Let's say the first waypoint is directly above the base, just here. So to quickly set a waypoint, just hit enter to bring up the chat window, forward slash GPS, then a space, and then give your waypoint a name. I'm just going to call it WP01 for speed. And then if I hit enter, you can see on the bottom left it says waypoint GPS waypoint 01. And I can test that by going into I and GPS and see, look, there it is, waypoint one. Let's make another waypoint. We're going to going to get this to go around in a sort of a, a circuit around the base, roughly. So we'll have another one just here. So again, enter forward slash GPS WP02 and another one over here this will do and uh, forward slash gps and uh, wp03 and then one final one over here somewhere that will do there and uh, gps space wp04 all right, so now we have a remote control block and an antenna that means I can easily access this vehicle remotely. So again, if you haven't seen that tutorial, it might be worth a watch, but very briefly, simply hold down shift and then tap K to bring up your uh, terminal access points. So we have the basic miner six meters away. So that's the right one, the basic miner. If I go into terminal, I can see here the usual controls for the miner and the thing I'm interested in is the remote control and if we scroll down the options for remote control we'll see down here there's a section that says waypoints if we go down a little bit further we can see our GPS locations here and in that list there's our WPs so I'm going to start with the first one click on it and say add that to the list and if I scroll back up you can see it's gone into waypoint list and then two add three add and four add so at this point I can't just turn on the autopilot and expect the drone to take off and start flying around the waypoints the landing gear is locked and the thrusters are switched off so we need to get this ship into some sort of flyable state so to do that I'm going to take control of it first and set up the hotbar so we go to shift and K again go into control and now you can see my hotbar on the bottom is the hotbar for the ship now let's set that up if I hit G I'm going to put the thruster group in one to turn on and off and I'm going to put the landing gear in nine to switch lock so now from the keyboard I can press one to turn on the thrusters nine to unlock and spacebar to lift it up I'm going to go into the control panel of the ship with K and find the, oh, we're on the remote control. 
and go down to the autopilot and notice that it's grayed out. I can't turn on the autopilot. And the reason for that is because I'm currently in control of the ship. So if I hit escape, I'm the one controlling it there, not the autopilot, so it can't turn on. So what I need to do is disconnect from the, the ship. So I'm back in control of my character. Now go back into Shift and K, and instead of clicking on, on Control, I'm going to click on Terminal. And now should be able to turn on the autopilot. Now before I do that, I just want to quickly check something. Yeah, the speed limit's set to 100, so I'm going to drop that down so it doesn't go shooting off like a rocket. There we go. So now let's turn the autopilot on, and it should make its way to the first waypoint which was directly above. There it goes. There we have it. So it's reached waypoint one and it's now heading to waypoint two and then it'll go to three and four. While it's doing that, let's have a look at some of the other options for the autopilot. So shift and K again to remotely access it. It's the basic minor go into the terminal, the remote control, and let's have a look at the other options. Collision avoidance, if we turn that on, it will try and stop the drone or the ship from crashing into things as it approaches them. Precision mode means that the ship will slow down as it approaches the waypoint so it hits it more accurately and then head off to the next one. And then we've got this flight mode here and it's on patrol. Now patrol will go from waypoint 1 to 4, then it'll reverse. It'll go back to 3, 2, then 1. One, two, three, four, and so on, backwards and forwards through them. If I change it from patrol to circle, it'll go one, two, three, four, then it'll head back straight to one, two, three, four, and so on. So now if we have a look at it, it should be heading off in a circle. There it is there, it's at waypoint three, and there's waypoint four just there. And it should go from four back to one let's see what it does is it going yes it is there we go heading back to one so now our little drone is just flying around in circles and i want to regain control of it to bring it back to the base to experiment with it so i need to turn off the autopilot in order to be able to take control of it again so if i go to autopilot and off in the remote control Let's just see where it is. Yep, it's over there at waypoint three and it's not moving. So now I should be able to shift and K, go to the basic minor and say control. And there's my toolbar along the bottom, but I can't see what it's doing, but I did put a camera on it. So let's add that camera. And I'm gonna say, I want to view. So now if I hit two, I'm viewing through the minor. And I'm going to hit F to come out of the camera view, but I'm still in control of it. I need to hit F again to come out of the remote control mode. There we are. I've just spawned in a warhead above the ground so it's not attached to the base. And I'm going to arm it. Then I'm going to take control of the mining ship and pick it up. So shift and K. And control. Line that up roughly and bring it down. There we go. And the auto lock and the landing gear is locked on. And now if I lift up, yeah, we've got a hold of that warhead with the landing gear. So I'm going to come out of control by hitting F. And now I'm going to set up an action for the ship to perform as it reaches a certain waypoint. Can you guess what it's going to be? <laughs> All right, shift and K. Basic minor terminal in the remote control. I'm going to scroll down to the waypoints. And at waypoint four, I want to perform an action. Let's have a look at what we can do with this ship. Well, something nice and easy here and obviously it's going to be fun you know it is is to get the landing gear to unlock so what should happen now is when i turn on the autopilot you know what's coming 
<laughs> it's going to go waypoint one, two, three. When it gets to four, it should unlock the landing gear and drop the warhead. Let's try it out. Okay, the autopilot's on. And off he goes. Heading to the first waypoint. Oh, it's a bit heavy. Is it going to work? Just thinking about it. Hope those thrusters aren't damaging that warhead. On to waypoint three. And then off to four. Oh, how close did I have that to the base? I think I had it a little way off. Let's see what happens. Does he detach? Yes, he does. Boom. And then he just goes on about his business like nothing has happened. Look at the size of that hole. So now the drone will just keep circuiting round and unlocking the landing gear every time it goes over there. So that's just an example of setting an action up for your autopilot to, to perform when it gets to a certain waypoint. Now obviously there are all sorts of things you could do here. If you wanted to get really complicated, you could get it to come back to base, to recharge. I would just suggest that you experiment and have a bit of fun with it. Something else we could be doing with this is we could have some turrets set up on the uh, the mining ship. It could be a bigger ship and it could be acting as a, a deterrent for enemies approaching your base. Bear in mind that it doesn't take control of the non-directional guns and turrets on ships like your, your typical Gatling guns, your fixed ones. But if you have a couple of movable auto turrets, those will fire on enemies if it passes them. It also won't stop what it's doing to attack an enemy. It'll just keep going around in this circuit. It's good fun. It's like having a little pet. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you found it useful, then let me know by clicking on the thumb button. Comment if you have any questions. And if you haven't, it'd be great if you could subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Tall Man Brad, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. It should unlock the landing gear and drop the warhead. Let's try it out. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, that's not good.